What's up, Salt Yakers? Check it out. Today, I'm coming to you to talk to you about wheels, carts, trolleys for your kayak. Kayaks this day and age, guys, they're not light, right? They're heavy. And sometimes they can be pretty challenging to move around. Um, we typically are moving ours around on a beach. So the carts I'm gonna show you today both have beach tires on them. However, both of these carts are available from the manufacturers with the regular wheels and tires on them rather than the big balloon sand tires like I have. So just understand that for all you, salt, all you freshwater guys out there. Um, I'm gonna show you two different ones. <clears throat> First, I'm gonna show you the traditional Hobie uh, plug-in cart. Here it is. This is their upsized version. This is their larger size. It's got the bigger wheels and tires on it. And I'm gonna tell you, first off, I wanna make this real clear. No, no manufacturers that I'm showing to you today sponsor us. Nobody gives us anything. We pay full retail price for everything we've got. So I'm gonna give you biased, excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna give you unbiased information from a true owner's perspective. On this Hobie plug-in style cart, it's got a lot of strengths. First thing I'm gonna to talk to you about for strengths, the tires they use are the Wheelies brand name brand tires and they're tough as nails another thing with hobie everything is stainless steel so you know these things have been in salt water and they have hardly any indications of rust anywhere on them right so that's a tremendous uh, strength in its favor another strength in its favor this cart when you're using it it's easy to store in your boat so let's say you get your your yak out of your truck you get it down to the water and maybe you have to pull it away. Maybe you got to pull it, you know, 100 yards. Do you really want to have to walk this back to your truck? Not if you can help it. The way this works, you can store it upside down right here in your scuppers. And it'll ride just like that while you fish for the day. They're pretty small. They don't take up a lot of room. They're not in my way when I use it like this. And that's super handy. So well built easy to carry around and easy to store in your boat while you fish weaknesses or things that could be better about this there's only one in my opinion and I'm about to show it to you it's not easy to get under your boat and you guys can look on YouTube there's plenty of videos that guys have designed hacks to make this a little bit easier I don't have any hacks on it mine is straight from the factory 100% bone stock I'm fishing here a Hobie Pro Angler 14 360 right as far as fishing kayaks go this thing is the big bad mammer jammer but the other thing that means is buddy it's heavy and look what you have to do to use this cart first thing you got to do is you got to empty your boat so that you don't have anything in it that'll spill out then you got to roll the boat on its side like this then you take your plug-in cart and you plug it in to the holes and then you roll it back over now here's another strength now that you've got that thing in there it's in there. It's not going to go anywhere. It's super solid. So it makes it really easy. Even in the sand, look how I can roll this thing in the sand. How easy it is. And you can take it right in the water. And she's ready to launch. Okay. So that's the Hobie cart. Now, is it cheap? No, it's not cheap. It says Hobie on it. So it's not going to be cheap. If memory serves, I think current retail on that thing is somewhere around $317. And that's, that's if you buy it on Amazon, but I think it's actually the same on Hobie's website or at their dealers. So 317 bucks for the Hobie cart. Okay, and for option two, 
guys all y'all true blue hobie guys out there which by the way i am a true blue hobie guy you can look at my trailer and you know that's true because it's piled up with hobies those are all hobies i'm a true blue hobie guy but what i'm about to show you is going to tick some of you guys off because it's not made by hobie come over here this is option two now guys this one's a little beat up because it's got a lot of miles on it i've used it a lot so when i give you my opinion on this one know that it's a well-educated opinion uh it's been used hundreds of times salt water and fresh water and this thing's a beast this is made by wilderness systems this is wilderness systems beach cart again it is available with regular wheels as well you don't have to have the balloon sand tires that i have guys this thing is a beast for pros, for strengths, the biggest one, you're not gonna believe how easy this thing is to get under your boat. For cons, for weaknesses, I've got two for you. Number one, you'll see if you look, not all the hardware is stainless. See, I've got rust. I'm gonna show you the bottom here. You'll see my, my bolt heads are rusting. Not the end of the world. You know, I can pop those out and replace them with stainless and it'll be fine. But I do wish if they were gonna sell me something with beach tires, obviously it's intended for a beach or saltwater scenario. I wish it had stainless steel hardware from the factory. Um, so that, that's your first con, that it's not all stainless hardware. Second con is look at the size of it. You're not gonna store this thing in your boat. Once you get your boat launched, you gotta walk back to the truck and put this in the truck. And then when you're done fishing and you get back, you gotta go to your truck and get it and bring it down to the water. So it does add a little extra work there. So those are your two cons, right? No stainless hardware and it's a little big and bulky. But here's where this thing shines. That's putting it under your boat. Here's all I have to do. I set it next to the boat, cocked it a little bit of an angle, not 45, but pretty close. I'm gonna come to the back of the boat, lift it set it on there i'm done it's that freaking easy you pick it up you drop her down she's ready to go now it does come with straps where you can strap around the boat to hold it on there because i suppose it can fall off there now that said i've never one time used my straps but i'm also not usually pulling it real far i usually i'm not pulling it more than maybe like 50 to 100 feet typically so it's not a big issue for me but i suppose if you're on rough terrain and it's kind of bouncing when you're pulling it you'd probably want to use those straps but so now that i've got it under there you're gonna see even without the straps look at this dude look how easy i can maneuver it anywhere i want to take it i can put it in the water i can take it out of the water no problem easy peasy now when i'm done all i got to do to get it out of there same thing pick it up set my boat down and i'm done all right retail on the wilderness systems unit is a little less expensive than the hobie the hobie cart uh, what i say 317 dollars the wilderness system if memory serves 235 dollars ish uh so it's significantly less expensive now again those prices are with the balloon tires the balloon tires add a little so if you're looking for one with regular wheels and tires it'll be a little less expensive all right so quick recap you got two options here today you've got the hobie plug-in kayak cart or you've got the wilderness systems uh rack cart rack style cart i will tell you guys these are not your only options there's a bunch of them out there I have a couple of others i've got some cheap ones that we bought and they did not work out at all and then i wound up spending more money buying these guys uh, but if i had to do it all over again me personally i would cut straight to the wilderness systems that thing you saw the ease of use you see that it's a little bit less expensive that ease of use is the big thing but also it's compatible with any kayak you can put it under a canoe for crying out loud everything is adjustable you can make it sit higher or lower you can broaden how wide or narrow it is 
uh, to fit your particular kayaks. I can use it on all four of my Hobies. And I do also have a Wilderness Systems kayak. It works great for it too. So, and I don't even have to make any adjustments to it. So guys, if I have to do it all again, I'm going straight to that guy right there. I recommend you do the same, but of course you do you. All in, I just want you to have all the information I can get you. Guys, remember, get up, get off that couch, get out there, do some of this stuff, because at the end of the day, if you don't go, you don't know. See ya!